What can you do with old pee? According to scientists, quite a lot. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. So the idea of recycling pee is nothing new. To get a pearly white smile, ancient Romans used to soak their teeth in it, and early Europeans used it to clean their clothes. Thankfully, most people are no longer walking around in dried urine. But today, scientists are unlocking the potential of pee and discovering that it's really nothing to turn up your nose at. For example, scientists can actually make medicines using chemicals extracted from pee. Back in the 1950s, a doctor named Bruno Lunenfeld realized that when women enter menopause, they naturally release high levels of fertility hormones in an effort to get rid of any eggs they might have left. Lunenfeld wanted to see if these hormones could be extracted from the urine, but to do that, he needed gallons and gallons of pee from older women. So where did he turn? To convents. Lunenfeld collected pee from about 300 nuns and used it to extract human urinary menopausal gonadotropin, or HMG for short, which is still used in fertility drugs today. And that's not all. Pee is powerful stuff. Literally. You can actually use it to generate electricity. Certain kinds of bacteria feast on the nutrients in urine. Yum. The bacteria in turn produce electrons, which flow into an electrode, creating a current that can power cell phones or lights in remote locations like refugee camps. Pea-powered electricity is still being tested, but the technology is promising and offers a way to keep the lights on using a truly renewable power source. Perhaps the most important and widespread use of pee is as a source of water. For example, since water is heavy and difficult to transport to space, astronauts on the International Space Station extract it from their urine. The pea-cycled water on the ISS is not only drinkable, it's actually purer than the water that comes out of your fossil at home. And speaking of which, your tap water might already contain some recycled urine. In drought-stricken parts of the country like California and Texas, urine gets purified and filtered back into the water system. Wastewater recycling systems are already in place in Singapore and Israel, and they could soon be coming to your town as an increasing number of places face water shortages. Americans produce 32 billion gallons of sewage every day, and a lot of that is pee. With all that urine, we could be creating a ton of water, medicine, and energy for those in need. So keep peeing, people, for the good of humanity. Keep peeing. Ew. Got a question about pee cycling? Let me know in the comments. And for more gross science, hit subscribe.